Okay. Um, this is, uh, once again, Patrick Montesdioca with the um, Equity Management Academy Live Trading Room. And what I would like to do on this segment, basically, is to uh, share with you the uh, latest report that uh, we published in our website here. Uh, as you can see, if you go to uh, ematotrade.com, on the left you see the U.S. economy is headed into another recession in 2015. This is the latest report that I published and if you go there you can click on the link and uh, uh, if you click on my name which you see there it will take you to all of the reports that I have published including the uh, the most recent report that I would like to uh, share with you um, Michael Pento, president of Pento Portfolio Strategies, recently argued that the failure of zero interest rates and quantitative easing will lead to economic collapse and a rise in the price of gold. Pento said it should be uh, becoming obvious to everyone that zero interest rate policies and quantitative easing across the globe did not save the world from the Great Recession that occurred in 2007. He said such policies accomplished two things. Reinflated all asset bubbles, thus making the, the rich even richer and destroying the middle class and lower classes. Encouraged a massive increase in aggregate debt. Debt. Pento said global debt has increased by 60 trillion in nominal terms since January 1, 2008. When you make money free and make the amount available to be borrowed virtually unlimited, what do people do, he asked. They take on even more debt. Even worse, this 60 trillion debt is a higher percentage in comparison to the entire economy than it was seven years ago. He said that we are now close to the point where debt is 290% of global GDP. Pento argues that all the printing of money and lowering of interest rates has failed to create greater economic activity. He said that Japan's GDP is lower today than it was in 2012, while U.S. GDP in 2014 was 2.4%, which is lower than it was in 2010. He said, we have not been able to endanger growth. As he has predicted before, he foresees that once interest rates normalize, we will have mass insolvency on a worldwide basis. Those who are in debt will not be able to continue to pay the interest on their debt once interest rates rise. Why does Pinto, uh, uh, Pento foresee an economic collapse in 2015? In June, the U.S. Federal Reserve said that unless the economy collapses, they plan to initiate the first increase in the federal Fed funds rate. This will not be a singular event, but part of a protracted and prolonged increase in interest rates. Pento said, if that is the case, if borrowing costs go up, it will end our phony and ephemeral GDP growth. Even just with rumors of the Fed raising rates, U.S. economic activity, Pento said, is already stalling. Virtually every piece of economic data, factory orders, industrial production, is heading directly south, he said. The U.S. economy is headed into another recession in 2015. Pento sees dramatic repercussions from this becoming uh, uh, from this coming recession. He sees the public concluding that central banks are ineffectual and people will lose faith in their ability to generate growth. And then you are left with a tax base that cannot support the amount of sovereign debt. End of quote. Penta believes that yields will then spike and the Fed be forced to back away from normalizing markets and initiate another round of QE, which will be even bigger than the 1.8 trillion printed for QE3. Gold on the rise. Turning to gold, 
said the precious metal is being held hostage by the great uh, debt negotiation. Greece owes the EU, uh, the uh, Eurozone, 320 billion euros with no ability to pay it back. Even with all the talk in the media about a deal, he said, there is no deal. Any deal, he said, will unravel. If Greek government agrees to austerity, he predicted there will be riots in Greece. The only question Pinto said is, how will Brussels allow the Greeks to default? He foresees some sort of relaxed austerity deal with some debt restructuring. However, if Greece leaves the Eurozone or if the uh, ECB stops funding Greek banks, he predicts a huge capital outflow from Portugal, Ireland, and Spain into Germany. This will be devastating for, for the fiat currency known as the Euro in the short term and absolutely wonderful for gold. In the United States, Pento believes that by June or July, the Federal Reserve will be forced to admit can't raise interest rates without causing massive disruption to the dollar. Therefore, if the Fed goes, if the Fed does not raise, uh, does not raise rates by June, Pento predicts the gold market will take off. This is the uh, latest report that uh, gives you an idea of uh, basically uh, what I believe is uh, currently going on based on the research that we have done. And you can also look at the other reports that we have published, uh, which uh, is pointing uh, to the possibility that 2015 is going to be a dramatic year and that potentially uh, we question is there going to be a financial collapse in 2015 or potentially a major crash in the U.S. dollar. What I would like to do now is to um, uh, move right into the uh, uh, gold and silver market uh, current uh, situation here for the day and evaluate the uh, algorithms that we use to uh, trade in the live trading room uh, on a daily basis as well as uh, basically the uh, swing uh, trading signals that we produce on a weekly basis. On the chart here on your left you see the uh, uh, gold chart basically um, with uh, lines, uh, red lines and blue lines here, which uh, basically identify the daily codes that uh, we uh, use to trade in this market. And uh, our subscribers uh, get this information a day before, which is uh, one of the things that uh, uh, I believe we, uh, we feel it is extremely important and uh, we do differently than anybody else is that uh, we prepare our subscribers for tomorrow's market and um, our subscribers receive a password that uh, they have access to obviously uh, the room and every day we produce this uh, algorithms that basically we uh, post in the room and so um, in these uh, uh, trading room, uh, these lines basically signify what we can expect uh, to happen the following trading day or the following week. But let's review and see what uh, was the expectation yesterday. In fact, uh, how is it that we produced $2,560 in profit today? by trading in the gold market with uh, two contracts. Um, the indication here uh, that you see on the right was basically the code. Uh, the code basically is the metrics for the day, the pivot point, you might say, of the subset of support and resistance levels, which is what we trade. And um, the algorithm identifies very specifically the price trigger points that uh, we are to use uh, in identifying the signal. And last night, the market closed at 12.06. The um, uh, VC code was basically 12.06, which you see here. 
on this line, and it indicated that uh, basically once uh, we break through 1206, that it generates an active buy signal, and automatically it activates the uh, uh, codes above or the sell one level, which was 1212, and the sell two level, which was 1218, that was projected last night by 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And so if you um, uh, were a subscriber, you were alerted that uh, market trading above 12.06 uh, basically was a trigger point. Subscribers did buy. We did produce uh, a real trade by texting subscribers um, um, about the signal, which is how we uh, basically uh, provide uh, our, our immediate, uh, you might say, uh, premium service is that you would have received a text last night uh, telling you uh, basically uh, uh, where to buy the market as we were doing and as we did. And and uh, um, when uh, we executed the order, automatically we knew that uh, we had a, uh, a target of 1212. Um, if, we, uh, if we were using multiples, then you can uh, use the second sell two level as your second target to uh, sell the balance of your position. And uh, in, in the market last night, after penetrating the uh, um, the the uh, uh, twelve oh six level, um, overnight basically rallied into the twelve twelve and reached the uh, sell two level of twelve eighteen, which uh, gave us enough uh, volatility for us to take a profit. And um, the um, uh, the stop basically um, was a close below 1206, which it did not occur. And so the closer that you entered into that trade of 1206, the obviously the lower the risk, uh, because right away when you activate a buy, uh, in the in the signal creates uh, a buy signal, then the code below uh, that activated that signal becomes your stop. Your target is the code above, and in this case we have met basically the objective uh, uh, completely all within a day and we have pulled out about $2,560 profit in the gold contract. Um, the um, uh, gold market in order for us to uh, also benefit uh, we use the uh, weekly uh, swing uh, trading uh, algorithm that we publish every Saturday, uh, which also our subscribers have access to this. And uh, coming into last Saturday, uh, the market closed at 12.05, and it told us that because it closed below 12.18, that uh, basically was confirmation that the momentum was uh, a little bearish, and uh, it, but it also told you that if it closes above 1218, that it would uh, basically negate this uh, short-term trend, so bearish short-term trend. The algorithm, the weekly momentum indicator, that uh, with the market closing below the VC weekly momentum indicator of 1206, which is a uh, a very key point, it confirms that the price momentum was uh, bearish, uh, but it also told you that a close above the VC weekly of 1206 would negate this bearish signal to neutral. And so here is the uh, synchronization or the harmonic relationship now that we begin to see between the daily and the weekly, that last night the daily pointed to the same indication, the same price of 1206. The VC code indicated a close above is very bullish. So, yeah, we uh, took that signal, and uh, right away when you activate a signal, then it tells you uh, if you go long, uh, it tells you the profit levels that you can take a profit on, and and they are uh, very clearly defined here. Last Saturday to take profits between 12:14 and 12:8 and 12:23, the high today. Uh, basically was uh, 12 19 90 so it, it went through the target zone and uh, it, it is uh, trading uh, basically still on the uptick 
the uptrend um, with the possibility that it will uh, uh, target the 1223 level here uh, in the next few days. But the interesting thing that I want to point out to you is that when the market, uh, first of all, let's let's take a look and see what the market has done since we posted this report, which was here on the 20th, and it indicated that uh, it indicated that uh, the market basically, if it comes down below 1206, uh, closing below it was bearish, and when it closes below the uh, VC weekly code or the daily, you know, indication if they both synchronize at the same price, that's a pretty strong signal. Then the targets the B1 or B2 level below, and here the report said that if uh, to cover the short uh, positions at the 1197 to 1189 reversing along and and so uh, you can see on the chart that the market came down uh, triggered a, a B1 and B2 level signal at on the 23rd and uh, closed basically at 1201 after reaching that uh, 1200 level and uh, on uh, the 23rd I think we made a lot of uh, excuse me 119060 <coughs> and uh, um, excuse me um, you see the market bouncing from these levels uh, twice on the 23rd and on the 24th and we were prepared and we've been advising our clients basically to buy into this area this week and we have produced this week some really uh, terrific trades um, uh, in the gold and silver market and uh, I think we're up maybe about nine or ten thousand so far uh, in just uh, uh, scalping the market day trading the market in the futures markets uh, and in terms of the uh, silver market pretty much the uh, same thing where uh, on Saturday it, uh, it gave you uh, basically the ranges uh, that uh, can be expected if the market comes down into this uh, into these levels here of uh, B1 and B2 and the low that was made on the 23rd was 1606 and the low that was made on the 24th was uh, 1604. It uh, didn't quite come down to 1581, but uh, the market now trading at 1660, which is the uh, weekly indicator, uh, it's uh, building up what could be a confirmation that the uptrend is beginning to happen again. And so what happened today you see that uh, we made a high of uh, 1691 uh, from yesterday's signal, which triggered a, uh, a buy about 1660. The daily was saying 1647 in that vicinity, and automatically the targets uh, were were for the daily uh, were triggered with a sell one level at about 1666 and the sell two level at 1689. Uh, these uh, uh, were uh, taken uh, by us, these trades were taken by us and we produced a $3,485 profit by trading the signal. And we are right now flat in the gold and the silver market, once again waiting for the next indication. Um, this um, algorithm gives us the opportunity to identify oversold conditions. It gives us the uh, uh, pivot point or the uh, 
a metrics for the week where it identifies either the downtrend or the uh, uptrend. It is the mean in price, the weekly uh, indicator that uh, uh, basically identifies once again the uptrend or the downtrends of the market on a weekly basis for swing trading. Um, on Saturday, uh, we usually produce the uh, reports every Saturday that uh, we send out to our subscribers. So I look forward to seeing what uh, uh, what uh, ha uh, what is going to happen next week. In the meantime, if you have any questions at all, uh, you can uh, uh, reach me at uh, uh, ema to uh, trade.com or you can call me at uh, 805 area code 418 1744 or you can email me at uh, support at ema to trade.com once again this is uh, Patrick Montes Dioca uh, it's been a pleasure to spend some time with you and uh, I look forward until next time. Take care and be well.